One of Kevin's biggest pet peeves on our 25 FKBS is the height of this mirror. It is way too short for someone over six feet tall. All I see is my chinny chin chin when I'm trying to do anything in the mirror. But he's never done this before. Doesn't matter. I'm going to try it anyway. There's people on Facebook that have done it, so why can't I? There's not a step-by-step -step instruction manual on Facebook, but a rough idea. So I'm going to take that and run with it. He's going to create it himself, and we're going to take you along for all the mishaps and hopefully good outcomes. <laughs> and then, hopefully, if you want to do the same thing, should be a snap. Tools you need for the job include a power drill with the all the attachments you can find, the square bit, you'd want a putty knife or small flathead screwdriver, a pen, some wood glue, a level, a staple gun if you so choose, tape measure, and definitely some paper towels. So step number one is easy enough for me to do, which would be to take all this stuff out of here, except for we put alien tape on the bottom of it so it doesn't slide in transit. So um, I think they're going to stay there because they're pretty snug and I don't want to rip the decorative coating. Let's make sure there isn't anything inside, though. Step two is basically taking this off the wall. There are, what I can see, there's two screws down here. There's one over here. And they're, these two, I don't know if they're holding up the bottom shelf or if they are holding up the entire thing. So I'm going to take them out anyway. It can't hurt. And there's one over... No, that's a knot. Never mind. <laughs> so two, four, five that I can see. And then... I had heard that on Facebook, this is where I, I think the side has a little fascia panel, a, a false... I don't know. It comes right off. It's only glued onto the side. There might be screws back in between the shower and the medicine cabinet, but there's none others um, along the way here or up in here. And it, it, it's pretty snug across the top, so I'm, I'm assuming there's got to be something over here. I'm going to start with these. Wish me luck. This is where the bloopers start. All righty. Uh. Okay. It's the last one that I can see. <laughs> I can't imagine I'm holding this up by myself right now. So there's got to be more screws somewhere. All right. Yeah, they're going to be behind that panel. I was dreading taking that off, and I think we're going to have to pan away from me and let you see, if you have this model, obviously you'll know how snug it is in here, but i got to get some sort of extension thingy for this, because there's no way this is going to fit in there. So, this is the, the, the depth, the width. I can't get a, a screw gun in there, but this panel on the side is what's hiding these. And I kind of tried to pull it away a little bit up here, and you can hear it ungluing itself, and that scares me a little bit. Here, we're gonna, there you go. Aha, well, all the way straight back here at the top. So what I read, those might have been staples. Ah, yeah, little tiny staples. They just, <laughs> they just pull out of there, not prettily, but this is the panel on the side. There are two screws, three screws, straight back here. One at the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top. That, what, that's what's holding me on right now. So the solution I found was extensions. I have three extensions and the bit. Is this the proper way to do it? No. Do I have any other way to do it? Also no. But it seems to be pretty okay. You know, the wiggles a little bit. But that'll, 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 that's, that'll play in my favor, I think. Because then I can reach around, as it were. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, that, <laughs> that does play in my favor. Because I need that. 
no way that worked <laughs> not pretty but it worked <laughs> and my extension rod isn't deep so it it wiggles back it wiggles around it it holds a tight magnety wise which is going to help when i go to reinsert everything i can just stick this like so and then re-screw it in there that's the positive if i had a fourth one i'd probably use that as well because this doesn't quite reach anyway but whatever and back to the point why is it built that way i'm assuming they put this up before they install the shower they've got to because who i don't think they make a 12 inch long drill bit i don't think i've never bought one before Okay, so two more to go. These next couple are giving me problems. However, they don't have to come all the way out. Oh, I wonder if they have the same thing on the top. I didn't think about that. All right, there's not a lot of space here, by the way, people. Here, do we want to get a, a shot? <laughs> Like I, as I mentioned in a previous clip here, they installed this before they installed the shower. They had to because those screws are going into an angle that would almost make it impossible not to. Like I have to be standing in the shower to, to get these in here. So, I mean, the, the doors probably went on last. I don't know. All right. We're still, <laughs> we still have more. So I got to take the, the top part off too. Wow. Somebody in the Forest River Department, as it's focused in here, gets paid by the staple. Because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just in this one side piece alone. Also, keep the side piece separate from the top piece so you know what's what. And I, pr I probably should have grabbed a pen. So we can say, like, on the inside, like, side piece up. So side oof, up and then that way i know that goes that way they got paid by the staple up here too there we go i wonder if i can do this and not remove it just kind of angle it oh hey a bonus screw if you ever hear your, something rattling down the highway i suppose that's uh that's it we've got Two more screws. Okie doke, I can feel it coming. I'm gonna need my lovely assistant. I need a hand, because I, if I drop this, I'm gonna be very mad at myself. But come over here and hold this up somehow. I got the right side, I just need the left side. Okay, that should be it. And this should come right off, okay. Ooh. It was glued up too, by the way. So this is what the back of it looks like after it's been taken off the wall. You can still see that I've got my interior decorating things in there. A little bit dusty, but this is it. This is what it looks like. Ten screws to take this down. Now we're going to go see if we can move it back up. Here's the wall behind the medicine cabinet. You can see there's, it was kind of glued up also. This just comes right off. Um, so I got to peel that off. There's a couple holes that are going to be possibly noticeable. That was the one on the, all the outside there. And then you might see those two here. There we go. We got that one. That one. Those are the bottom, bottom two. Those I don't think are too bad. Those look pretty good. But the one on the side here looks like they really made it, did a number on that. The other thing I'm going to want to do is there's that piece of trim that I want to, I want to take off. That looks like it's just stapled on there with one staple, surprisingly. And this is why we're learning together, folks. I don't think anyone mentioned all this stuff on Facebook. 
There's definitely not a video tutorial that we found. There might be somewhere. And if you've got a better one, if I'm doing this wrong, let me know because I'm definitely not the expert here. I'm walking through this with you guys step by step. If there's a better way to do this, I'd love to know, I'd love to know first, but you know, let's help other people by telling them how to do it properly. All right, if I haven't mentioned it before now, there's no way there's no way to re-staple these panels back on. <sighs> I don't have a way to do it. There could be a way. I'm going to just wood glue a lot back on now at this point. You want to be careful when you're doing this. <laughs> How are those on? Oh, those are stapled in from the bottom. Okay. Good to know. All right. Next trick. I'm going to not remove any more staples and maybe just hammer them in there. So there's no way to re-staple the fascia back on once it's up. What I'm going to have to do is glue the panels back on with wood glue because it's all wood. And you can't, re you can't reattach it prior to putting it back up. And I can't staple them back on after it's up. So it's got to be glue. And the staples that they've got stick out a little bit. And what we've just discovered is that these are also stapled to the thingy. So now this top piece, I think I'm just gonna screw it back on because there's a, I'm gonna take this from my awesome assistant here. We sorry, the first spin was fast. So there's a piece of wood underneath here. So if I just screw this back down into that, a tiny little screw, I'm not gonna hurt anything because glue's not gonna help that at this point. And maybe I'll put another one in over here on the other side because those are two main connecting points there at the top. I'm gonna need assistance holding this up and making sure that we're level. And my tools needed for the job, I did list that tool. Just fine. <laughs> you got this? It's heavy. Yes. We like this a lot. Um, let me get my step stool. We're not quite all the way to the top. Maybe an inch away. But this is a really, really good spot. Why so, are you going to get up there to get the screws? In? That's an awesome question. One that I'm hoping to answer soon. And we are pretty level, which is great. So let me get the level out of there. I don't want to say... We're pretty level. We're almost exactly level. I'm not mad at it. I can't see. Oh, oh you just ruined the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Pick it up. Um, I am not a paid assistant, so. I pay you with my love. We were level. Okay, let go. You sure? Yes. Ooh. Okay, I'm sweating. I took off my coat because I'm sweating. We don't even have the heat on in here, but I got my little handy dandy flex piece back in here so I can get these the rest of these screws in along the side. Love it. I'm just gonna stand on the step stool and make this one eye level. Just go to my solid piece and put in the last five. I mean, you probably don't have to, but I don't want to take any chances. I mean, that's, ooh, yeah, no, it's pretty sturdy, but it's not. So put in the last five, folks. Don't cut corners. I wasn't going to. Um, what I will do, though, is point out the one ugly hole on the side is covered up by the side of the, the medicine cabinet here. There's a hole here and here, which you can hide by putting things on the shelf, which we're going to be doing anyway. Then there's a hole down here and here, which are going to be a lot harder to hide. However, if I'm standing here brushing my teeth, I can't see those because this is in the way. Unless you're walking from the side like so, you're not really going to see them, see them. But I think we can probably get beige caulk and put some beige caulk in there and kind of mask it. I don't think it's really going to be that apparent. But that's a, uh, another pro tip from 
Your buddy Kevin. Okay. Those seem to go in way too easy. So there's probably nothing behind that wall right there. Ooh. <laughs> that was a little scary. It pushed the wall in. So when I gave it another boop, it pulled the wall back out. Now, there we go. We are cooking with gas. So the last part of the whole thing is reattaching the fascia pieces. And I'm, like I mentioned, I'm just going to use wood glue to glue. Oh, that's the top. But glue them back on. I brought clamps so I can clamp it uh, to the side here. The top one, I thought I was just going to put some weight on top of it. But I'm down to now just maybe like an inch and a half worth of space between the top and the ceiling. I don't even know if I want to put the top piece back on at this point. I might, just because you want to do the job right. You don't want to leave things family-friendly term for that. You don't want to leave things half-finished. How about that? And then from there, I got the trim piece off the top. I'm not going to bother. There's maybe a half an inch to an inch up there. I'm not going to bother cutting that off to place on the top, but I am going to cut that off to fit down here. So I need to, yeah, we got about maybe three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to get a tape measure, measure what we got to cut, cut it, and then I might just, I don't know, maybe I'll just glue this one as also. Oh, it's like Star Wars. Do, 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 do. Anyway, as I'm coming in here, you can see I've lined the edge with wood glue. I've got some clamps to hold it up. I got to be careful where I'm touching this. So I've, I'm gonna, uh, there we go. And to line this up the best I got. Oh, wow, that was easy. Famous last words, folks. That should go. Oh, perfect. I love this. These clamps are the, are the exact perfect size. I don't know if you can see that from where we are. We may have to bring you in here, Scotch. As you can see, I've just got two. I mean, the, the, this piece isn't very heavy, so I don't think I need more than that. And I did notice that I'm squeezing some of the glue out. So I had brought paper towels out. I'm going to take a few, I believe, and just leave, well, not a few, but just leave one laid out along the bottom here in case the glue decides to drip. There's a place to do it where it's not going to glue onto our countertop. There you go. That's the word. So I'll take this top piece next. Okay, outside, inside. I'm going to take some glue and do the same thing. If you just run glue along where the staples are, that's where you know the wood is because that's where the staples went in. So let me go and do that on the kitchen counter where it's easier for me to work. Alrighty, righty So I ran a bead around the outside. I didn't use a ton. I don't think I need a ton. Ooh, watch where you're doing stuff. This is going to be... Ah, I just boogered the hole. Yeah. Oh, there's some drips there. Look at that. I'm smart. So, clean up after myself here. There we go. And this is why you leave something there. I've already had a couple little drips blop down there. The side panel, if you once you get it off, you'll notice it's kind of hollow-ish. So if you miss getting the bead exactly on the wood itself, then it's going to drip down like it just did. I'm at the point where I'm happy. I held the top down with my hands just for a little bit to get the, the, the glue tacky. I, mean, I don't think I'm going to need to do much more. It's not popping back up. All right. The very, well, I don't want to say the very last step because the very last step is going to be putting this up. But near the end is just measuring what we need here. So it's, ooh, it's like an eighth of an inch under five inches. We need to measure that here. Another thing to look out for when you remove this, if you're doing what I'm doing, one side is flat and one side is angled because the the ceiling has a barrel vault to it a little bit and, and you can kind of see just barely that it's, it's just slightly angled so i'm going to measure from the the flat side to that side 
and cut off the angled bit so it's not in the way. Zink. And the nice thing about this, measure once, cut twice, is that it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. I'd rather go a little bit shorter. That way you can hide it underneath the medicine cabinet so you're not going to see it. But yeah, I'm going to go zing that little piece off. I think I'm going to use my, my circle saw, and uh, I'll be right back. Oh, that's perfect. Actually, that's dead on. So I'm just going to spin this around. Stick that in there. And give that like a nice... I'm going to do it towards the top. So it's not visible to the naked eye. And kind of hold that in there because if I don't, it's going to unstick. This is the last bit of... I don't want to say the installation, the repositioning of the medicine cabinet. I feel, for the most part, that it went pretty well. I'm going to give myself like an A minus, B plus to an A minus in this whole thing because, again, I was learning as I went. And now, hopefully, you can avoid the same mistakes that I made, like ripping the piece of <laughs> cabinet off the top when you're pulling out the staples. Having the proper tools, which, again, this video should resolve for you. But yeah, I, I want to say, what, it's 20 after 4? So it probably took about 2 hours and 20 minutes altogether. And that's including fumbling around and, and learning my way. So I don't feel that's that bad. Like, if you follow, if you follow my steps for only nineteen ninety five, I think you could do this in under an hour. Now that we know what's going on, now that you know where everything is and you have all the prep work done and, and everything else, I think it should be fairly easy. And don't be nervous. <laughs> I, I feel anxious when I start a project I've never done before, but I always wind up getting it done pretty well, I feel. I add that in there just in case. Somebody's like, oh, I'm so glad you do this. If you're kind of on the fence, same fence that I am, Again, I don't think you need to worry. I, I think this is pretty, pretty easy for just about anyone to accomplish. And again, the screws are already there, so you don't need to worry about, am I screwing through the side of the camper? Because the screws are the length that they came with, and they weren't through the camper already. So unless you're really reefing them back through, I think you're going to be fine. As always, I appreciate you guys coming along with me and learning as I go. And I hope that this is going to teach somebody else how to do a project the correct way. Let me fumble through it so you don't have to. Right. You don't have to worry about having a wife that's nice enough to let you use your camper for the prototype and the first run of this. Mine already took care of that. She is the best. If you got the knowledge and the drive from watching this video to, to do this yourself, give us that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Leave a comment below. Say, hey, we did what you did. It worked out awesome. Or tell me what I did wrong. If there's a better way to do this, let's let the people know. Because this is something that, in my opinion, is awesome for tall people. Again, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully see you down the road. And as always, happy camping, everybody.